Hey everybody, this is Yannick Collins and welcome back to Oz Living. Now we're here at the Filecoin Singapore for the Asia Crypto Week and joining me here today is Arthur Tokoa. He is the head of sales at Flowdesk. So Arthur, hey. pleasure to be joined by you today. Absolute pleasure. I'm very delighted to be here today. It's an amazing first day in the Asia Crypto Week. Uh, we are seeing the buzz, getting everyone together. I think it's going to be a lot of ideas to be shared over the next few days. So Exactly. We're all feeling the energy in here. So Arthur, tell me, Flowdesk just recently raised a 30 million in Series A fund raising. Um, so tell me about your company and your products. Well, thank you very much. Yes, that is uh, that is correct. Uh, so Flowdesk is uh, providing a, a platform essentially to support uh, crypto projects um, where, where they financial services. So starting with uh, liquidity management, uh, but as well brokerage, um, yield, yield management solution and custody solutions, obviously to support all the financial services that are required for project in their growth phase. So we realized that the, uh, the traditional approach to, uh, um, to liquidity management and trading, trading solutions um, would, be, uh, would be adequate for tier one projects, but we realized that when project launches, uh, there would be a response as a service, and that's what we do with our platform. Awesome. And what makes you different from the other industry players in Southeast Asia? Uh, both in Southeast Asia, and uh, we take really a, a global view in this approach. Uh, really, with crypto, the world is our oyster. And, uh, and, and the difference, again, is that whilst we started as a trading firm, we realized that there could be another approach, another response to uh, helping projects in their early phase and launch and, and really focus in a service-based engagement to any trading services and liquidity management service that we provide. So it's kind of providing the technology, the platform and the trading services to work for the token projects as opposed to a prop trading approach which is I will just work towards my PL and my reward uh, and essentially um, um, may create friction in the long run with the projects I'm working with. So we are trying to address this, this gap. All right. And Arthur, I want to get your in opinion on this. Um, in terms of emerging blockchain trends, what is there in the pocket of blockchain technology for this year? Oh, wow. Uh, it's a lot going on. Uh, so for us, we are very much interested to see all the uh, infrastructure related projects. Uh, but in the meantime, we are working uh, with a uh, um, very interesting project in the insure, uh, decentralized insurance space, uh, GameFi, um, as well as DeFi projects. So it's all over the place at the moment. I think what, what's very interesting is uh, uh, with the current market conditions, there is really a focus on building quality projects. So if I may say, all across the diverse applications that we are seeing, we are all talking quality and long-term value for everyone that's getting involved. And for us, we are also trying to be part in this ecosystem to provide that support from the trading services side, taking this long-term view and really growing uh, Web3 adoption in the long run. That's what we all share is, is this, this uh, commitment to grow this community in the long run. I love it. And I think the major factor for um, keeping, you know, the quality companies in the system is the crypto winter as well as it wipes out all the bad actors and all the scammers in the space. So Arthur, thank you so much. It's a, such a pleasure talking to you today. Um, you. And let's do this again. Cheers. Soon.